Hey, what's up, my friends? It's the Plexer again, and uh, today I'm bringing you Stronghold 3, the first episode of a game that I'll be let's playing for, well, the upcoming weeks and days. Uh, I've been waiting for this game for quite a while. I remember playing Stronghold 2 for not too long ago, and since then, well, I've just been looking forward to a uh, to sequel. So we're going to go straight away here. We're not going to go with the campaign just now. There's a military campaign and there's economic campaign, but I don't want to focus on either economics or military. I want to go with a free build. So we're going to do that for now. Two maps. The island or mountain valley. <laughs> Coast of Scotland. I like that. Nice. Let's go with the island. Ta-da. Yes. Oh ho. I've been waiting for this for a long time and finally it Base is here. Your stockpile, my lord. Yes. Uh, it's so familiar, yet so... It feels so fresh, and it's yet so familiar, as I said. There's a little road, there's a little path. Aha, uh -huh, there's a big open area, there's a little pond or something. Ah, okay, place our stockpile. Let's see if I can remember everything. Here's our lord. Yes, inside the castle. We're going to place our stockpile. Ah, beautiful. How about here? Sight your granary, sire. We started off with some wood and cobblestone. We're gonna have a granary too. Can be, uh, can be here. Now we're gonna have a woodcutter in there. Yeah, let's place it here. Actually, let's place it hmm, here. Ta-da! And we're off. Uh, can I pause the game? No. Okay. Well, we're gonna get straight away then. It's important to have food buildings, as far as I'm concerned. Um, a hunter would be great. Is there any hunters in close by? Okay, these are industrial buildings, food buildings, town buildings, honor buildings, military, castle, and tons of things. Beautiful. Sweet. Okay, well, we might as well start up with an apple orchard, right? That should be pretty good. Shouldn't be too hard to get this um to get this up and running. Let's place it back here. Here we go. A citizen moves up to his work. We should get a couple of more hovels going here now, because we don't wanna don't wanna run out of manpower. Okay, we should just place our buildings here. Make it look like a little town square. That would be beautiful. Some citizens are moving out now from their new living place. Okay, they're blocking the, the construction path. That's unfortunate. Okay. Well, this apple orchard is starting to, to grow. That's nice. Seagulls. Let's get a wood camp going. Here should be pretty suitable, I think. Yeah, that should be just fine. There we go. Oh, there's so much detail into this game. It looks really nice. It looks really nice. If you're wondering what I'm playing it on, I'm playing it on the Ultra settings. It's maxed out, by the way. Um, had some troubles getting the resolution to... Uh, 1920 times 1080 it wasn't in the uh, it wasn't in the menu but I fixed it so no worries okay now we got wood going and we got food going um, things are looking pretty nice 470 apples should last for quite a bit um, another house would provide more people so we're good with that we're gonna need a Hmm. A weed farm shouldn't be too bad either. We're gonna need weed sooner or later. Um, up here maybe? No, I don't want to spread too far away from my own place right now. But then again, maybe a little house. Yeah, that would be sweet. A little house. Some more people. There we go. And there we go. 
There we go. Oh, looking pretty nice. Okay. I can turn around like that. Now, look at this. There's a little, this little town square right here. It's looking pretty nice. Uh, a well wouldn't be too bad to have either. We're going to need water sooner or later. There we go. <coughs> okay. Okay, the apples are going down slightly. Let's see how many he fills up with every turn. Okay, that's like 10. Oh yeah, we're gonna need a bit more apple orchards if we're gonna be able to survive for a longer time. Let's place another one. There we go. Good on you, mate. The wood camp is doing pretty good. They're starting to work on their things. Looking pretty sweet. Oh, this game is very atmospheric, I'll tell you that. It's beautiful, there's no cartoony bullshit, it's just nice, really. It's pretty sweet. Um, well, where were we? Wheat farm, yes. That's going to be needed uh, quite a lot, I'll tell you. Um, we should try not using all the space down there. Uh, wheat farms up here could be pretty good, I'd say. Um, let's get started right away, then. A mill? I don't even know how this works. There's no sort of uh, things on it that spins around. Um, I don't know. I think they're supposed to be those things, but whatever. We don't need them right now, then. We're going to have to place some of these farms here. And a mill. Yeah, there we go. Looking sweet. <clears throat> We're going to have people moving up there to work. Yeah, as you can see, that's... Everything is in its order. Yes. Castle defenses, in case you want traps. Brazier. I think that's for fire arrows, if I'm going to be honest. Ye, we can build wooden walls. And things like that. Industry building. Let's get a quarry going. Because we're going to want to build wood stone soon enough. Okay, what's this? Now I believe we need to find a stone deposit. Ah, perfect. A stone deposit. <laughs> Quarry should be placed right there, together with a an ox tether or tether, something, whatever it's called, can't can't really bother right now. I'm going to place it right here. Right here. Good. Pretty good. Well. No more houses are needed for now. We've got quite a good populace going. And the food, well, it's going down slightly. Okay, oops, we're going to have to fix that problem. We don't want to run out of food anytime soon. Pig farms. Yeah, why not? I love the fact that you can twist buildings 360 degrees. It gives it a much cooler atmosphere when buildings aren't like standing straight in a line. I like it. It's cool. It's perfect. Okay, let's see how the wheat farm is going. Yeah, they're doing fine. Um, this building is right now producing flour, I think. Right. Morning, your lordship. Morning, your lordship. Well, things are looking great, boys. Uh, unfortunately, Simon has to go to school now. But I'll upload this before it so that you can watch it. And when I get home back today, we're going to start uploading episode 2. I hope you've enjoyed this uh, sweet little preview thing. Uh, whatever you want to call it. It's just a little preview, as said. Um, and... Um, well, I don't want to waste more money. Just going to make sure the food's all right. Yeah, it's looking pretty good. And when we get flour in, we'll be able to make a bakery. And bread, they bring in lots. Here we go. Wheat farmer. It's slightly... Well, it could have been faster if we put our wheat farms closer to the granary. Or the stockpile. Because now these guys have to go down there. They then pick up the wheat. It's... It's not that smooth, 
but it's going to have to do. For the future, it'll be more flowing, so don't worry. Um, here's the keep. Morning, your lordship. Armory, granary, stockpile. Nice little swift menu there. Can I can I swift around the uh, the amount of food that we distribute? I don't wanna don't wanna get too conky here. We're gonna buy some apples. Can't buy that much cheese, can I? Nope. I need a market, of course. Let's place a market close by. Market should be suitable over here. There we go. Now we can uh, purchase some cheese, some bread, and meat. Okay, there we go. And then again, our villagers are bringing in tax, so we don't have to worry about that. Merp. Yeah, well, thank you for watching, people. Don't forget to rate and comment if you're new to my channel. And please subscribe, as there will be tons of more gameplay coming up pretty soon. Um, well, if you like Civ Builders, don't forget to check out my Anno's, uh, Anno 1404 series, as it also provides quite some uh, simulating simulation of a castle, whatever you want to call it. <laughs> okay, these boys are bringing in stone, and these guys are bringing up the wheat. Looking good. Our town will flourish pretty soon. Thank you for watching. My name is Bindiplex and I'm signing out. Bye.